Hello and welcome to God, Crochet, and Chatter. Yes, I'm back like I promised. And I'd like to open with the mini devotional as I like to try to do. And look what I got. Mmm. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Oh, that is so sweet. Oh, yum, yum. Good, honey. But you know what? There's something else that tastes good, too. Let me read it to you. How sweet are your words to my taste. Sweeter than honey to my mouth. And that was pretty sweet. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Now, I found this on my cereal box. Isn't that cute, little honeybee? And in the center, I wrote Psalms 119, 103, sweeter than honey. And, you know, like I was talking about, I see God in everything, even on a cereal box. Yeah. Now, um, you know, we need to talk about what it is to taste the word. Um, you know, surely we don't tear off pages in the Bible and put it in our mouth and eat them. We want to devour the word. We want to chew on it. We want to just get it in our whole system so that we can start reviving ourselves and lifting ourselves up. We can get great encouragement in the scriptures. So, you know, we need to be daily in the word, daily studying, and come with me and taste and see that the Lord is great. All right. I have a bunch of things for you today. I'm so excited. Yeah. Okay, you ready? All right. I got I got everything scattered around me here. I'm working in a very small, it's like a roll top desk. And um, I wanted to squeeze everything in. So let's see how we do today. I got my list of things to talk about. Yeah, going to be here all day, right? <laughs> okay, I don't think so. Okay. Well, welcome to God Crochet and Chatter. And I'd like to, again, welcome all my subscribers, my new subscribers. Oh, my goodness. I love your sweet comments. They really mean a lot to me. And like I said, I do read them. And I try to give a little comment back. All right. So, first on our lister. Lister. <laughs> okay. Let's try that again. First on our list is... Should we open the yarn bags that I bought? Yeah, let's do that, okay? All right, are you ready for this? Oh, my goodness. All right, here we go. Got my receipt. You're not going to believe this. So, let's see. Let me pull out this first. Look at this. It is Lion Brand. Scarfy. Yeah. Um, I haven't really used this too much. Um, I just, I didn't know if I really liked the feel of it or not. But it has a 70%, um, no, 78% acrylic, 20%, 22% wool. Um, and it is 312 yards. And that's quite a good, you, my tongue is all tight today. <laughs> That's pretty good yardage. Okay, now, Joanne's was having this sale. And they have a big sale outside their store that says 50% off everything. A big clearance. And I went out. Well, I went in the store, and I went in there only to buy a crochet hook that I needed. And I walked back to the clearance yarn, and uh, one of the ladies came by, and she said, Ah. Oh, yeah, she says, uh, it's 50% off, it's $2 less than the clearance price, and then we give you 50% off of that. I said, are you kidding me? And she said, well, let me check. So she called up front, and she said, oh, no, the sale's over. I went, oh, okay. So I'm looking around. So another lady takes me over to get my crochet hook, because they had them locked up. And, uh... I said, boy, it's too bad about that sale being over. I just missed it, that 50% off deal. She says, what are you talking about? And I said, well, another lady told me that it, that it ended. She said, no, it didn't end. It's still going on. I said, 
really? And she said, yeah. And I said, so I get 50% off the clearance price, and then it's $2 off of that first? And she said, yep. Oh, my God. So this scarfy yarn, it was $4.97. So they took $2 off of that. Well, I ended up paying $2.48. Can you believe it? These normally used to sell like for $10. And I'm going, yeah. So I grabbed me four of them. Okay, and I got a little bit more. I didn't go crazy because I have to kind of watch my budget. But I'm thankful for what I got. Remember I told you I never tried the Lion brand ice cream cotton um, yarn? Well... They had it, and I got this here. This was $3.97, $2 off of that. I got each one of these for $1.23. Yeah, $1.23. So, yeah, this is um, ice cream, and this is uh, 394 yards, cotton candy. Yeah. In fact, I did a video on Cotton Candy Faith. You might want to bring that one up and listen to it. It's pretty cute. So, yeah, I got um, one, two, three of these. And you know me and my yarn barf, right? Well, I found some more. <laughs> it won't be too bad. But even if it is, this one was like 50 cents. <laughs> Isn't that fabulous? So if you have a Joanne's near you, I don't know how long this sale was going on, but you might want to check it out. This is the best clearance sale I've ever seen them have. It's like, wow. They had a lot more of different kinds of yarns and stuff, but nothing I was really interested in. But I did grab what I wanted, so I'm thankful for that. So, yay. Isn't that great, guys? Isn't that fantastic? Yes. I'm so happy for me. <laughs> we have to take that joy, don't we? Okay, let's move on. All right, so that was that. Okay, put this back in here. All right, next on my list. Oh, yes. As you can see on my head, I have this little, looks like a doily. Well, I'm going to turn around. Hopefully, I can get a lot more slugs down here. Okay. I'm going to turn around in my chair so you can see the back. Here we go. Yeah. What do you think of that, guys? Wow. Isn't that neat? There we go. I'm going to turn back around this way. Hello. Here I am. Let me see if I can get that side view again for you. Yeah. So, that is called a flower type scrunchy and the next time I make it um, see how this is these um, chains here I'm going to bring that out a few more rows so that when it sits on my head it like comes to here like a doily effect I think that would be really cute and I made one more scrunchy um, this is a hyperbolic scrunchy and um, you just basically uh, let's see I did double crochet around and then in the next round, I did two double, two double crochet in every stitch. And the next round, I did the same thing. And that makes it really pretty. And when you put it on, it's so pretty. I just love scrunchies. I have a lot of different designs, one with beads. I'll be making some more in the future to show you because they're just so doggone cute. And my granddaughter loves these. So these will make nice Christmas gifts for her. And um, also... I made another scrubby. I made this today um, and this scrunchie today because I wanted to show them to you. And this is by Sarah Sack. Um, she has a great YouTube channel. And these scrunchies, now this is the large size. And you start with the ring and then you're just going back forth this way. And then you're doing um, Single crochet, chain one single crochet for that center. And then you're doing like five here, no, four here, four here, and then with that in the center. And then you just increase each time. You do five, six, seven, eight. But when you get to the center, you do that single crochet, chain one single crochet. 
And then you just when you get done, you drop the scrubby yarn and you do this pretty edge. In fact, I made this scrubby and this scrunchy out of um, the cotton yarn. And I did yellow yarn with this, but I made the scrunchy and something else that I'm going to show you that I think I'm going to give them in my giveaway sometimes. Um, I'll talk about that in just a minute. I think you're going to like it. Okay, let's move on. What else do we got here? I got my corner-to-corner -corner blanket done. <laughs> Isn't that great? Yeah. And, you know, it was so great having you all on that journey with me. Let me show that to you now because I'm pretty excited. Okay, I'm going to have to back up here. Like I say, I have a small space, but we're going to make it work. Okay, backing up here. I'm going to get up. I'm going to do it. Okay, here we go. Let me move my chair out of the way. And my bangs over here that I just showed you all my yarn stuff. Oh, of course, I'm dropping everything. But that's okay. I don't have to rush that much. Oh, you know what? There's one more thing in this bag. Ah, I forgot about this. This here. Look at that. Isn't that Pretty. I'm going to talk about this in a minute because there's something I want to sh oh, Hello. There's something I want to share with you about that. And I got that one. $2.23. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Okay. Let me put all this away so I have room here. Okay. Here. I'll put my yarn bar back in there. There we go. Okay, I'm going to pull this chair back. All right. I'm here. Are you? Okay, here we go. Da, 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 isn't that great we need to enjoy the work of our hands and get silly about it get happy about it my husband was absolutely thrilled and we did get it to cover his foot but yeah, look at this, guys. Isn't that wonderful? I went ahead and put that fifth row on. It made a big difference. And I just kept going and going. And I must say, my husband said, well, how long did that take you to make? And I went back to my videos, and it took like three weeks. Now, that's in between doing my videos and crocheting and you know all the other things I do throughout the day. And I worked on it sometimes during the day for an hour. And then in the evenings is when I really work on stuff. I can get a good three, four hours in at night. So, but yeah. Let me fold this up. And I thank you for, what, for encouraging me through this and liking my progress because that keeps me motivated <laughs> okay i'm gonna put this down okay that's done <sighs> victory dances don't you just love those victory dances i do i surely do okay getting back to the show on the ball like i said this was 747 they took two dollars off of that and so it was like two dollars and 38 cents i think i said and they had a couple others, but with what I bought, you know, the other day on Michael's, on their clearance, um, I've got enough for, for a while now. I can let somebody else get in on the goodies, too. But one thing I did notice, um, Pamela at Adoring Crochet, she's the one that did the um, Charlotte that I posted the link to in my last video. And she kept saying uh, 500 and. 17 yards or something. I'm going, well, that's not right. It's only 481. And so 
I went back and looked through the ones that I would bought and, and sure enough, this skein here has 518 yards. Okay, now this one says 481 yards. This one also says 481. Now, I don't think that's a misprint on the label because they're still selling this in the other colors. And I, li I like the brown and the gold and it has those sparkles in it. This is going to make, make something pretty special for somebody. Well, anyway, um, so yeah, take notice of that when you're making something. Check that yardage because they are reduced now to 481 yards. So that could be critical in a project that you're making if you need that, you know, a little bit of extra yardage in your project. Okay, and uh, the scrunchie that I had made, uh, this is what I use. I, put, I use one strand of cotton yarn, and then I, like this. There's the cotton yarn. Usually I use the solid color. And then I add a strand of this Red Heart Scrubby yarn. Now, at one point in time, I think it was maybe last year, they were clearing some of this out. I forgot what deal I got on it, but it was great because I bought a lot of them. And I usually don't do that unless I get a really super great deal. And look, the pretty blue. I've got orange. And like I said, this is scrubby. Let me get it up there. Okay. Scrubby Sparkle by Red Heart. I haven't checked. I hope they still sell this because I use this a lot in my scrubbies. And uh, 174 yards. So I can make a lot of scrubbies out of this. And then I got green. I, I'm sorry. I got red. Isn't that pretty? And then I got green. And I also have purple and yellow. So, yeah, um, it makes really, really nice dish scrubbies. So, okay, let's see what else we have here. Okay. I came up with this. Now, I got this pattern off of the Secret Yarnity. Yarnity. <laughs> Let's try that again. The Secret Yarnery by Krista. Uh, I love her channel. And she had this crochet heart coaster. Let me tell you, it is very simple to do. And it is gorgeous. So I thought, you know, I always say at the end of my videos, keep your crochet hooks warm and your heart full of love. So in my future drawings, I will be sending um, whatever else I send to that person. I am going to clue. I am going to include this coaster, keep your crochet hooks warm, and your heart full of love. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh yeah, I know. Oh stop, stop, oh stop. I know it's cute. Stop, oh <laughs> stop. <laughs> oh yeah, isn't that pretty? And I love you all so much, and I do want to give back to you guys, because you give so much to me. And I thought, you know, keep your hearts full of love as you crochet and as you go out in your daily walks. Whatever you're doing, keep that love in your heart. So, yeah, I hope you guys like this. I just think it's beautiful. And I use this yarn here in this, and I got a um, scrunchie out of it, too. So, um... I'll be making these in all different colors, and that will be my thank you gift to you for subscribing to my channel, for liking it, for hitting that notification bell, and for your continued comments. You know, I do appreciate you all more than you, you, you realize. This is like candy to me, and like, you know, taste and see that the word is good. Well, I want to taste and see what you're creating too, so, you know. Get over to Crochet Bug Bites, my Facebook page. The link is in the description box below. You know, start showing me some of your stuff. You know, I, I like to see what you're doing too. Okay, we got a couple more things and then we're going to be done for today. I am going to make a pocket shawl for my daughter. 
as I told you, she's been remodeling, and she has this beautiful patio that she's going to be sitting out on and listening to her music, you know, doing whatever out there. And I thought a pocket shawl would be nice. She could put her cell phone in there, her tissues, and um, have that right ready for her and a little bit of warmth on those chilly days. Now, the yarn I picked for this, I went back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> so, I'm going to make my first one in this. This is upside down, of course. <laughs> this is a Karen Big Cake. This is called Grape Jelly. Yeah. My daughter loves purple. In fact, this is some I had left over for another, and I'll just incorporate it, you know, into the shawl. So, that's my next one that I will be doing and showing you my progress and having you pump me up to keep going and keep going and get her done. Okay, now... Talking about get her done. <laughs> oh my goodness. The next time I come on, here's my commitment again. I'm going to have this little guy finished. I just have a few more rows around the bottom to do and it'll be done. Maybe take me 15, 20 minutes. Okay, I'm going to get that done. I've been trying to finish up some of this stuff and kind of just stay what I'm working with and not have so many whips going. I know we all get excited because, oh yeah, this is fun. Now, what else can I do? And we go and we all of a sudden we've got like five, six whips, which isn't bad in itself. It's sometimes it's nice to switch off, but boy, for me, I think I'm going to kind of try to finish each item and just do smaller things in between. Well, this is another, I started this last Christmas. I was making a bunch of corner-to-corner -corner scarves for gifts, and they were very popular. Well, this is another one. Let me back up a little bit. There we go. And it's just corner-to-corner -corner again. And on this, when you're making a scarf, you do your increasing all on the same side. And it's very easy, very easy to do. Like I say, I'm almost done with this. I'll have it done. Um, I forgot what the name of this short heart but this yarn is, I know it's by Premier. Um, I can get the colorway if you would like me to get that for you. But yeah, I'm going to get this done and finished. And I'll have one Christmas gift down. Yay! So yeah, so that's what I'm going to be working on, okay? Let me put this back in here and this up here. And let's see. Um, where is my... There it is. I got to take a drink of my... Remember my cranberry drink? Fill it up about here with the diet cranberry juice and the rest all water. I put a little bit of sweetener in and it's very good and very tasty. Ooh, that's so good. Okay, I have one thing left to do in my closing. Um, did you see my shirt? You see what it says? It says, be kind. Isn't that pretty? I love the tie-dye. I've been ordering more t-shirts. I love wearing t-shirts anyway. So I thought, you know what? They need to reflect my personality. And I'm all about being kind. So, let's close with a scripture today. First Thessalonians 3 and 16. Now, but, now may the Lord of peace himself Give you peace in every way. The Lord be with you all. Well, you guys go out and enjoy the rest of your day. I know we're going to get ready to go for a walk. We always try to get at least a half hour walk in every day. So when I get this done, we're going to hit the trail. So, you know, again, please, please, please. Keep your crochet hooks warm. Your heart full of love. Mwah! I love you all. Have a great day. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye.